Okay, let's see what the universe has for you all today. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What do Gemini's need to know? First card says self-love. I'm still trying to heal. So it's time for, okay, so if any of y'all went through some sort of heartbreak, betrayal, it doesn't, I mean, it could be from a lover, a family, a friend, it doesn't matter. But it's just telling you that it's time to start pouring more love into yourself. It's time for you to start healing your heart. Ugh. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What do Geminis need to know? What messages do you have for my Geminis? unexpected outcome things didn't go the way i planned so i don't know i guess somebody was trying to do something um and maybe something blew up in their face spirit give me more for gemini tell me more men i want to fix their connection so yeah somebody wants to fix something so maybe they tried to fix it but they might have made it worse um, because the Santa didn't go as it planned, but they really do want to try again to mend whatever, you know, is broken between you two. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? Unsatisfied. I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy the way things were going. So I feel like this person wasn't fulfilling you the way they should have. And then this says mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. That reminds me of the justice card. So somebody want to make some things right and balance out the scales. Then this says secrets. I haven't told you everything. This kind of reminds me of the seven, seven of swords. So somebody may, have be, may be keeping things from you, maybe being se sneaky and deceptive. And then this says soul tie. I always feel connected to you. So you and this person may have like a um, twin flame type of un union or maybe even soulmate. Spirit, so give me two more cards for my Gemini's. Two more cards for Gemini's. Conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. So somebody will be reaching out to you soon. And then it says chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. I feel like um, y'all are tired of chasing someone. Like maybe they're always in and out of your life. Um, they may be emotionally unavailable. One minute they're all in and they're love bombing you. The next minute they might just fucking ghost you and disappear. And you like, what the fuck happened? Um... So, yeah, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What do Gemini's need to know today? <laughs> Nine of Swords. Somebody is all in their head, not sleeping, overthinking. Could be experiencing some anxiety, a bit of depression. But somebody feels like they fucked up. <laughs> and they're like, damn, how the fuck can I fix this? Spirit, give me three more cards for Gemini. Three more cards for Gemini. Give me three more cards for Gemini. What do Gemini need to know? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody who really wants it all with you. They want to build with you. And I don't mean just emotionally, but financially, physically, mentally. Um, they want it all with you. They want the family. Many of you are meant to leave a legacy for your offspring or the next generation. Um, some of y'all may marry a man or a woman who comes from money. Um, some of you may have some unexpected money coming in. It can be from an inheritance. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but yeah, somebody is stressing out about how do you have this Ten of Pentacles with you? Spirit, give me two more cards for Gemini. Two more cards for Gemini. Give me one more card for Gemini. One more. Okay, so you have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups means that this person really is in love with you. Like, they genuinely love you. And the thing is, the feelings are mutual between the two of you. They feel like you're a very selfless person, and that's what they love about you. They feel like no one gets them like you do. Like they can be themselves around you. They feel comfortable enough to let their guard down around you. And they feel like y'all have intense sexual chemistry. They want to be in a relationship with you. I don't know what's holding them back. Four of Cups, they're doing a lot of contemplating. It's something that they want to say to you, but they just don't know what to say or how to say it. So there's like, it's like they're practicing the conversation in their head. Like, um, 
what they're going to say, what they think they're going to say back. Sometimes they start to write the text, then they may delete it. But they're going to reach out because remember, you got this conversation card that came out. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Nine of Swords is clarified by the Three of Swords. Yeah, they're in their head. And like I said, they feel like they fucked up because they know that they broke your heart. And that's why with that Oracle card, it says that they want to mend your heart. They want to mend things between you two. So there's something about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords. They are really in their head. They're overthinking. They just like... They don't know how to get the Ten of Pentacles. They don't know how to get back in your good graces. They just don't know what to do. They're starting to feel like they're in a mental prison. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Two of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords. So you feel like they betrayed you or stabbed you in your back some type, some sort of way. Um, Y'all could have ended things with this person or they may have ended it with you, but I feel like for many of you, this is somebody that you probably was dealing with for some years. So tell me about the four cups. Why is the four cups here? Four of cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, is rushing in to give you some sort of love offer. This is typically somebody who is a workaholic, but very generous, um, loves to be a provider, um, probably makes good money, has a good career. Spirit, tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? But let me say this, but with that Knight of Cups, they may be like really fickle. One minute they're in and the next minute they're back out again. So you kind of got to be careful with them. Also, you're you're ready to see a significant increase in your finances as well. Many of you are meant to be entrepreneurs. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Three of Swords is clarified by the Tower. There's about to be some shakeup happening. Let me see. Tell me about this Tower spirit. Why is the Tower card here? Tower is clarified by the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Some of y'all may have two people to choose from. Because y'all got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Well, whoever this is, I mean, I'm sorry, not the King of Cups, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Um, whoever this King of Wands is, hmm. You know what? I don't feel like this is a bad tower. I think this is a good tower. Because King of Wands is typically a good man. So you have somebody that looks at you as somebody that's very loving, nurturing, caring. Um, if you are a parent, they think you're a good mother or a good father. Um, and they love the way you love them or they love the way that you love others. They love how you pour into others. And they want to be good to you because the King of Wands is typically a good man. King of Wands is typically somebody that is faithful, that wants to settle down, that wants to be a provider, that wants to travel the world with um, his spouse, his, his kids. So yeah, so with that tower, I feel like some of you may already know this person, but if not, God may be sending you this King of Wands to show you what love is truly supposed to be like. What it, what it feels like to have someone genuinely love you and respect you. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse. So... If some of y'all live with this person, you may have put them out or you're thinking about um, moving out of the home. Um, but somebody is worried that they can't commit to you right now. Yeah, I feel like y'all got two different people in your energy. Um, somebody may be considering getting a divorce as well. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So this person does not want this to be over. They feel like you belong to them. You're their, like, you're their possession. They're holding on to you tightly. They're not letting you go. Spirit, tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles is clarified by the Sun card and the Two of Wands. Sun card is the most happiest and positive card in the deck. Two of Wands means somebody is planning something. It can also mean somebody was struggling making a choice between you and someone else. And if that is the case with this Sun card, I feel like they're going to figure that shit out. 
Because whatever issues y'all y'all had is going to be eliminated by the sun and y'all going to be able to resolve them and move past it. Um, two of Wands, this person may live at a distance from you or they may come back and ask you to go on a trip with them. They may take you on a little vacation. I don't know. Um, but they're definitely planning something because the sun card represents happiness, love, reconciliation, healing, um, commitment, taking things to the next level, engagement, marriage, baby showers. So... And this is also abundance, prosperity. Y'all have some good shit coming to y'all. Tell me about the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Why is the King of... Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody... Okay, if you were dealing with somebody that's in a relationship or married, they're asking you to please be patient with them because they're about to become single, but it cannot happen overnight because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. Um, so they're letting you know, like, I'm ready to fix things. I'm about to end something with someone because, like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles, that's somebody that's single. So they're about to become single. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it means that they see you as the perfect type for them. They see you as marriage material. Um, they're just saying, hey, I, listen, I love you. I do want to be with you. I can't make this happen overnight, but I will make it happen. Um, where's that card? And you know what? I feel like with this unexpected outcome where it says things didn't go as I planned, um, I feel like if you are in a third party situation, your person tried to leave this third party before, but it didn't go as they planned. That's why now it's like, okay, just give me a little bit more time. I'm going to fix this. Tell me about the four ones in reverse. Why is the four one? Four ones in reverse is clarified by the seven of pentacles in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. You know that right now that your person cannot commit to you, right? But you also know that they do genuinely love you. And you're just to the point like, you know what? It is what the fuck it is. Like, I know, I know what this is. I, I see it for what it is. I knew from the jump, like, I knew their situation. And with the high priestess in the reverse, you're like, look, I've been trying to hold back from them. But if I'm being honest, <laughs> I, I, I just want to have sex with them one more time. Like, y'all want them to... Take y'all to pound town. Y'all just like it is what the fuck it is. Maybe maybe this is just going to be sex. I'm going to cut my feelings out of this and just make it about sex. Even though I don't feel like y'all going to really be able to do that. Because I feel like there's too much love between the two of you. So you may be telling yourself, well, this is just going to be sex. Because I don't want to add another person to my list or my roster. So I'm going to just fuck them. But you better be careful with that because it's too much love between the two of you to just make it just about sex. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles in reverse is clarified by the five of wands in reverse and the queen of swords in the upright. Five of wands in reverse is like your person don't want to argue with you anymore. They don't um, they don't want to make you feel like you got to compete for them anymore. And you don't want to feel like that. So what the Queen of Swords is telling you, like, you need to set boundaries with them. If you know you can't get what you want out of this situation, you need to cut them off. Fuck the sex. You can please yourself for a minute until you find somebody else. And I feel like for most of y'all, y'all have somebody else. So why y'all keep running back to this person? Um, but I don't know. This person really do want to work on things with you. Spirit, tell me about the Sun card and the Two of Wands. Why is the Sun card and the Two of Wands here? Tell me about the sun card. Hermit and the two of pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody need to take some time to themselves to figure out exactly what is it that they want. Where is this connection going? What are they going to do? It, it's time for them to do some deep self um, reflection, some soul searching. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Gemini's? Final likely outcome for Gemini's. Full card in the two of swords. Okay. It's a lot of third party energy. So once again, if your person had you in a third party situation, I feel like they're making a decision now because what the full card is saying that they want a new beginning with you. They're asking you to take a leap of faith with them, believe in them, roll the dice with them one more time. Tell me about the full card and the two of swords. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
even when they try to come back, I don't think that they can commit to you right now. And hence, that's why they are telling you to just be patient with them because they're trying to figure some shit out. I feel like some of them got to come out of a marriage or a long-term relationship they've been in. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. They don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want this to end. But I feel like they just cannot give you a commitment right now. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Empress and the Page of Swords. Hmm. If somebody is married or with their baby mother or something like that, baby father, whatever, you can reverse the genders. It doesn't matter. I feel like this person know about y'all. This person is stalking you just as much as the third party stalks you just as much as your fucking person stalks you. Whoever this empress is, be all on your social media. Be asking people about you. Want to know what you would like. It's like, what is it about Gemini that my person can't leave alone? Yeah, this third party knows all about you. Oh, Lord. So there's something about this Empress in the Page of Swords. Why is the Empress? Damn, Star Card, Hierophant, and the Six of Pentacles. So here's the thing. Your person really loves you. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like you two share the same morals and values. But with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like they stay with that empress because of finances. Like they don't want to be taken down for child support or they don't want to divide them finances if they have to divorce this person. They're not with them out of love. And I feel like this empress knows that. That's why this empress be keeping tabs on y'all. Like what the fuck is it about Gemini that you can't seem to leave alone? What is it about Gemini that you want to... Break up your whole fucking family. Damn. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. That's not funny. Spirit, tell me about the star card, the higher fin, and the six of pentacles. Tell me about the star card, the higher fin, and the six of pentacles. Tell me about the star card, the higher fin, and the six of pentacles. Tell me about the star card, the higher fin, and the six of pentacles. Four swords, and here y'all are minding y'all fucking business, trying to heal, taking some time to yourself. Like, don't hide now, hide. Like, you know the needy thing. Like, now, how I get in this? <laughs> Bitch, she was fucking my man. Psych, no. But for real, y'all minding y'all business, focus on yourself. And was that, like a, that looked like a little white feather that's just flew by. Did y'all see that? Or am I tripping? Anywho, y'all are like recouping. Like, all right, this person probably broke your heart with this whole situation. You like, you know what? I bow out gracefully. But now it's just like, I, you know what? You know what I'm just hearing? Hello, Barbara. This is Shirley. <laughs> so for some of y'all, okay, listen. All right, look. For some of y'all, this person may have already reached out to y'all and asked y'all about was y'all messing with their person or whatever and with this high priestess in reverse it's why you like i don't give a fuck no more like i'm gonna keep fucking them like i don't know if y'all trying to be smart like i don't know and this may not be everybody's story because it's sounding very specific i have no fucking clue but and if the person did not reach out to you yet something in you like you feel it intuitively like you know that, they, that this third party know about you or your person might have told you that they know about you and you're like look i don't give a fuck no more like i'm trying to focus on myself Spirit, tell me about the four swords. Why is the four swords here? Tell me about the four swords. Four swords is clarified by the death card. Yes, yeah, something is ending. Tell me about this death card, spirit. Knight of Wands, your person about to rush into you, but be careful because I do feel like your person is a hoe. Because <laughs> Knight of Wands, yeah, this is somebody that's very spontaneous, good looking, great sex, make you feel like you're going on an adventure. But the Knight of Wands love attention from other women. He love he's for the streets. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Seven of Cups. Somebody is confused. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the seven of cups. 
Three of Wands. Y'all been manifesting this person to be back in y'all life or commit to you. Some, whatever y'all fucking manifesting is going to happen. Your manifestations is coming in. This represents confirmation. This, this means yes, like it's happening. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? But you know what? I feel like for many of you, once this person comes in and like, all right, I'm ready. I think y'all are going to be messing with somebody else because this is why I feel like y'all are going to be confused because I do feel like it's somebody else in your energy as well. Um, and you're going to have to make a decision, but you're going to be feeling overwhelmed. So here's something about the three of wands. Knight of swords. Yeah, somebody is rushing in. Um, world card, page of wands, ace of swords. You're going to hear from this person within a week or two. And once again, page of wands, y'all going to fuck this person. <laughs> Y'all gonna fuck this person. Oh, Lord. But y'all gotta decide. Are you gonna really close the cycle out with them? Or are you gonna start it over? But with the Ace of Swords, y'all already get some mental clarity. So whatever y'all been seeking, whatever answers you've been seeking, you're gonna get it. Because y'all gonna have this adult conversation. Like, it's a very difficult but necessary conversation that y'all gonna have. Tell me about this world card. Why is the world card here? Tell me about the world card. Hmm. Somebody divorcing. We have a page of cop. Yeah, they're gonna reach out to you. And it's something about a child, maybe a little girl specifically. I don't know. Hmm. Is there any final messages for Gemini? Chariot card, forward movement. Your person's coming forward. They're determined to overcome whatever obstacles are standing in the way of you two being together. Um, and once again, y'all can live at a distance from this person. Some of y'all may be ready to go on a road trip, or some of y'all may be ready to buy a car. Um, but let's get some final messages and see what your person would like to say to you. Messages. Damn, I keep slipping out before I came to say it. What messages do you have for Gemini from their person? What messages do you have for Gemini? Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. Y'all both want to take each other to pound town. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. Spirit, give me more messages for Gemini from their person. More messages for Gemini. You're always on my mind. I don't want to be toxic anymore. I really do care even though I don't show it. Spirit, give me three more messages for Gemini from that person. Three more messages. God damn it. I underestimated how important you are in my life. I want to treat you the way you deserve. I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed me to be. I should have fought for you. I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. Yeah, I told you. They have somebody else in that karmic relationship. That person knows about you. I'm going to title it that. The third party knows about you and stalking you. All right, Gemini. That's what I have for y'all today. I hope that this helps. Talk to you soon.